Hello all, in this video we will get started with Intel NPU. Let's get started. So first of all, uh, to see if the, uh, the NPU is enabled on your desktop or your laptop, what you need to do is you need to go to the task manager and see that within the task manager, if I go to performance, if you will see an extra tab called NPU on your device. So if NPU is present, that means the neural engine that you can use for your AI workloads is enabled itself. Okay. So now what I have done is that I have set up an environment uh, using Anaconda. Uh, we will just go through it. So this is the Anaconda prompt. I am running it as an administrator. Okay. So I have created an Anaconda environment where I have uh, installed libraries supportive for NPU. So to get started with NPU you need to install the OpenVINO toolkit. If I just enable the, the environment itself, I have named it as NPU. Okay. Now if I use pip freeze, you will see that uh, there is one extra library, Intel NPU acceleration library. Uh, which is very effective and that uh, adds a values to your application that you are building for NPU itself. Here you can see the OpenVINO is also installed. So I have installed OpenVINO separately using the pip command. Jupyter server is there because when I am using uh, the Jupyter server for the neural processing engine, it gets hooked up with your NPU and it enables those applications. You can see that I have also enabled or installed the NPU acceleration library. Okay. So let's see an application that I have built right away. So I will go to the folder where uh, it's been kept. It's in It's in the folder C NPU. Okay. I've also installed Visual Studio Code as a, a tool for uh, writing my code, so it becomes very useful. Useful, and I will just initialize it using code dot. So we are into the NPU itself. Okay. So now you can see over here, if I go to this particular uh, python script npu7.py, uh, here what I am doing is that on the openvino runtime, I have the xml and the bean file created that does the drug discovery for us, but most importantly the compiled model that we are uh, creating or the inference that is being done, here we are doing it in NPU itself. So compile model code dot compile dot mod underscore model path NPU. What it does is that this particular line of code it allows us to infer on NPU. Okay, we'll run through it. So command is Python space NPU seven dot py. So I'll just run it. And you will see a molecular structure being created with the help of the NPU processor. So this molecular structure that you see has been compiled and uh, also inferred using the NPU structure and also you see it's been compiled in NPU. If I also go to the NPU utilization itself, you will see that uh, there has been some amount of utilization for your NPU. So you have successfully created your first NPU application using OpenVINO stack as well as uh, utilizing the compiled mode of NPU itself. Thank you and more uh, stories to come.